What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater Blind. In the last episode, in the fifth drop, we explored the Veiled House and learned more about the past of Keiji Watarai. And we also struggled a little bit with some of the battles, but we won't talk about that too much. In this episode, the first episode with the new patch for Fatal Frame, which addressed the save data problem that I had. Apparently, I wasn't the only person who had troubles with the save data disappearing. Um, due to some sort of application error. So Fatal Frame, or Koei Tecmo, they released a patch which should fix that, and a couple of typographic errors and, uh, you know, a couple other things like that. But in this episode, we're also going to try and find Miyu Hinasaki. I'm excited because all the way back in the prologue, we tried to escape the building and failed. But now it's going to be up to Yuri to help her out. So let's... let me think for a moment. Did I fix all the settings I wanted to? I think so. Yuri found Haruka trapped underground in a reliquary and brought her back, only to see her taken away by a ghost. Yuri heads to Mount Ikami to look for new clues and to find another missing person, Miyu Hinasaki. Alright. Can I, like, get a credit for reducing the number of uh, herbal medicines or sacred waters? No, I can't. Okay, well, we'll start the episode then. Immortal Flower. After being brought back from the mountain, Haruka disappeared again. This time, she seemed to be led away by the ghost of her friend, Fuyuhi. Yuri recalls one more open case from Hisoka's file, a missing girl named Miyu Hinasaki, who went to Mount Hikami in search of her mother. Yuri takes Miyu's token with her and sets out for the mountain, hoping that the key to all the disappearances will be waiting there. I mean, it's certainly there, I don't know if we'll find it in this uh, sixth drop, but I'm sure all the secrets lie on Mount Hikami. Here we are again. Miyu Hinasaki. It says here she went to Mount Hikami looking for her mother. I can use this photo to find her trace, which should show me exactly where she went. Also, really quickly, just kind of want to see how the sensitivity feels. I think it's reasonable. It's actually not as fast as I expected it to be. So I might even bump it up a little bit more. And I turned off the motion, and we're set to type 14. All right, confirmed starting with type 14. The game's looking to, to beat me down. And I have to remember I have spirit power that I can use by hitting square to heal myself. Do I want to go this way? No, I guess not. Then let's head on over here. Anything interesting? Oh man, I'm so excited to play through this game again and use the photo mode a little bit more. <laughs> That's hilarious. I immediately tried to use the motion controls to tilt it up quickly, but I uh, obviously couldn't. I didn't even realize how much I was actually using the motion controls, I guess. So naturally we saw that area over there. So we're going to try and go over here just in case there's an item or something. But of course, the game is not going to let us do that, which is fine. And sometimes it's a little bit relieving to not have to explore every nook and cranny. Also, for what it's worth, I haven't seen some of your comments on the last episode yet. So if any of you guys are able to tell me, hey, that was actually just the battle causing all of that craziness with your controller, and that's not actually indicative of, you know, just the motion controls being kind of weird, and that's the case, and I don't need to worry about that for many battles going forward, fine, I'll turn them back on because they are clearly ingrained in how I play the game a little bit, but I can see a cable car platform through the trees. <clears throat> but in the meantime, we'll just try and get used to playing without them. Miyu Hinasaki at the station. That was tricky when she disappeared behind the tree. I thought I was going to miss out on it. Okay, which way do we come from? Alright, there we go. Oriented again. So we're at the station. What's this behind over here? Some sacred water, it seems. We got a little map of the area. Oh, we are being attacked. Okay, we got a nice little little double. We get some fatal frame going. Yeah, come on. It's about time you attack me. That other one's kind of far back, isn't he? <clears throat> okay, we cannot back up any. Now, of course, you go for the fatal frame. Oh, I can only get two shots in there. That's a little bit of a bummer. But now they're at least closer. 
So I can do this, and that should get me... Seriously. Ooh, nice shutter chance there. I want to get the double kill, though. Oh. But you teleported to my left. Okay. So what I can try and do, then, is... Oh, you're actually approaching each other. That's pretty convenient. That said, I'd rather get a Fatal Frame than a Shutter Chance at this point in time. For the sake of um, being able to get Fatal Glances pretty easily, I think this guy's going to be dead. Can I get attacked during a Fatal Glance? I hope not, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was possible. Any chance I can, uh... Pretty strong shutter chance. I'm gonna want to be careful, though, of course, because I don't want to miss out on the fatal glance, but... Just trying to stay cognizant of not sending him too far off when I go for those fatal glances. Uh, it's a room... Or it's a route map for Mount Hikami in the surrounding area. I can't make out the details due to all the rust and peeling paint. Okay. It's all right. We have our own map, though. Little ticket station. The sign of the ticket machine reads closed, and the power has been turned off. A poster has been put up explaining that service has been stopped. Okay. Well then, how did... How did Ben get it to work? Hmm. Oh. There are street lights down the road past the fallen tree. This probably used to be a parking lot. Can't imagine anybody driving up here any time recently. What do we have up here? Some herbal medicine? Looks like it. Alright, the cable car is this way. Is that a ghost? Waiting woman. I was like, might as well. It's showing there's still something on my left, though. Oh, it was hidden over here. Some Type 14 film, cool. Before we head over this way, which I'm pretty sure is the way we need to go, I do want to briefly check, can we do anything this way? There's a narrow stairway about a meter wide leading to the platform. This is probably the platform for crew and maintenance workers. Okay, but it doesn't seem like we can do anything. But yeah, I can't wait to play this game again and go through the photo mode. You know, there were plenty of good places to get some really neat pictures. Interesting. Is this where the cable car came after Ren drove it down? If so, what happened to Ren and why can we not... Actually, there was something I could check over here. The track vanishes upward in the mist. I can't see a thing. What happened to Ren when he came down? Hmm. Note from Miu. It isn't very dirty. In fact, it seems newly written. Maybe Miu left this here. My mother left when I was three years old. I barely remember her. She hugged me, and then she disappeared into the sunset. There was nothing I could do. I cried, staring at the sunset. Why did I just watch her go? Why did I let her go? You were three years old, Miu. I can't just wait for her. I have to go. There are things I want to tell her when I see her. Yeah, that really does disappear off into the mist, doesn't it? Is there going to be a ghost just chilling in one of these seats ready to jump scare me? A light is glowing dimly on the driver's console. It looks like the power is on. I can use the control panel to get the cable car running. Alright. I mean, I guess that sounds like a plan to me. You push the cable car switch. The cable car started moving. Again, doesn't seem like the most reliable cable car to be riding on. But I guess we made it alright. Ephemeral station. What a nice word, ephemeral. Can I touch it again? Will it take me back up? Isn't... It's the cable car switch. I don't need to go anywhere at the moment. <laughs> Can you imagine? Out of curiosity, I touch the, the cable car switch. And the game is just like, Alright, we'll completely skip this area. 
Uh-oh. Do you see that? In the lower right corner, the game was saving. Something big's coming up. Oh, and there's another switch there. So, which way do we want to go? Looks like this is not the way to go. So we'll explore over here. The track disappears in the mist, and I can't make anything out. Anything over this way? The rusted metal door is shut tight. It appears to be the station office, but I can't get in. What about over here? Some items. Any any ghosty ghosts in here though? Nope, just some film. The documents from the rusty shelves have been scattered about. They seem to be about controls and maintenance, but they're far too technical for me to understand. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Some herbal medicine. I guess we'll uh, we'll take that. And then what do we have over here? Oh, some purifying embers. All right. So we got a fair number of items. Documents and writing implements are strewn about the rusty office desk. Okay. Well, I'm glad we explored that little area. Now we can head on over to whatever's shining by this ticket desk. Every time I see these things and they're like shining in the background, it reminds me of the uh, the game VVVVVV. I don't know if any of you guys have played it. It's completely unlike Fatal Frame, but the collectibles in this game are, in that game are shinies, as I would call them. These little circular shining discs that you try to obtain. And every time I see one of the items, I'm like, oh, shiny! I gotta get it. The wire fence says says do not enter. There are stairs beyond it with a door at the bottom. The fence has been securely locked. I can't open it. All right, pretty uh, straightforward. Anything else? Nope. Doesn't look like it. So I guess we'll start heading down the stairs. We're looking for Miyu Hinasaki. And I guess, oh yeah, we're technically following her trace. I was like, how does Yuri where, know actually where to go to find Miyu, right? Because Yuri's just like showing up on the mountain and is like, oh yeah, I'm looking for this lady. Um, and we're obviously following the path that the game has set out for us, right? We're following, oh man. This reminds me of Slender. I don't know if you guys can see the sort of like granularity to the visuals, but it reminds me of the static interference you'll get when playing Slender, and Slender's obviously close by. But I just realized, yeah, Yuri is able to shadow trace and can follow the trace while we're just kind of following along. Interesting, this path of the ephemeral. You'll notice the, the image is a lot cooler, right? So there are those warm lights in the background, but everything else seems a little bit more white and blue to it. So this is the the Shrine of the Ephemeral? I think that's what it said. Huh. Naturally we're gonna walk over this way first. Aw oh, man, I'm already met with the decision. <laughs> I have to choose to go where I think I'm supposed to go, which is certainly that way, versus the way I'm not supposed to go. By now, you guys already knew what I was going to choose. If you knew me well, that is. So let's see what we can find over here. Naturally, we'll find some items like herbal medicine. Anything else of interest? Listen to that music in the background. Talk about unsettling. What is this? I need to go and look for Mew. It looks like some sort of small, like, shrine. Huh. And then... There's an archway. A few archways. Oh my goodness! Hello there! So this is a new enemy type. The question is, how are they going to attack me? I don't really know. There are two of them to my right, though, now? No. Oh, wait a minute! They set up those lights! So I can use them to get a shutter chance, which is pretty cool, actually. Oh wait, what? That hit me. 
I guess it did. So they set up those torches, and then I think after a certain number of them are set up, they are able to attack me with them. So the one on the left, I think, is approaching me as well. Nice. This is interesting. Are those just fireballs on my left and right right now, or what? Yeah, because I'm getting hit by them. Which is obviously not great. So I guess I'll take a moment to actually try and get rid of some of those. Aw oh, man, that was not a very effective shot there. But it's not the end of the world, I guess. Oh, Fatal Frame, finally! Because I don't think I was able to get Fatal Frames with those fireballs. But definitely got a decent amount of damage there. One of them died. Alright, let's see if we can get the Fatal Glance. Come on. Oh, what? No, let me get the Fatal Glance. Aw, oh, really? I don't know what I'm getting hit by. I can probably only see them with the camera, maybe? I don't know. But, yeah, I, I think my ability to get that Fatal Glance was interrupted due to the... Oh, yeah, you can hear that in the background, right? I think that's the sound of them shooting fireballs. No, it's not, apparently. How am I getting hit? Oh, is there one behind me, too? Let's turn around for a moment. Was there a third one the whole time that I just didn't even realize? If so, that's actually almost comical. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do <laughs> is use Interval Medicine. Kind of regain my, my ground a little bit. Yeah, so there's still two of them. I hit X to dodge. Got a nice shutter chance there. Is one of them dead? No. Oh, both of them look to be dead. Or not? So, I guess those of you who are experts on the game, could I just not get a fatal glance there? Because it seemed like I was in the right place to do so, but clearly failed to. There's an item over here. Interesting enemies, though. I, I'm not sure if the me getting damaged was running into the other enemies that I just thought I killed and wasn't actually able to do so, versus fireballs that were outside my field of vision be from coming from like the torches. Because it seemed like the fireballs actually only were sent from the ghosts themselves, not the torches in the background. Or maybe I was running into torches and those did damage to me? That makes a little bit more sense. Either way, pretty cool boss fight. Or, not boss fight. Man, there's, there's gotta be a lot going on here. How's my spirit power? Only at 40? I actually don't remember how I get more spirit power. Okay, so I can't continue in this direction any further. We found some Type 0 film, which is really nice. I should actually pay attention to see how many points that's worth. Probably quite a few. Given how good of an item it is. And now we'll finally head on to the shrine that the game certainly intended us to go to first. Alright. Just to confirm again, yes, the trace is sending us over here. Oh! This is, um, we saw this earlier in the game. When they showed the, the title screen, Miyu Hinasaki entering the shrine. So this is, this is that shrine. Wow. So actually, you know what I kind of want to do right now? Is, um, the snap mode can't be used here. What? Oh man. This is like, this is the one place I've been, oh, this is so scenic that I absolutely want to use the snap mode, even if it's in the middle of an episode, it might get a little bit tedious or boring for some. The scenery is so great, I definitely want to get some cool pictures here. And the game's like, nope, actually you can't. The Shrine of the Ephemeral. Mew is inside. I really can't? Okay, no, I can here at least. But, hmm. Let's see. Can I do something like this? Eh. That's like a pretty nice... All these different lenses. Monochrome is cool. 
Ooh, the noise is actually pretty neat too. Dark, black and white, film grain. You can go with high saturation for now. Frame, you can do something like none, I guess. Depth of field, uh, how do I switch again? Character operation mode. All right, so we've got Yuri, and we can rotate her, so she's facing us. Cool, and we can, oh, that was not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Either way, we can, uh, we can do that for now. Is there any way I can have her look down? I don't know. <laughs> this is pretty funny, <laughs> going through all the different poses. Wait, dying? We haven't seen that one. Surprise, resting, wandering, default. Okay, this isn't actually as great a picture, I guess, as I expected. Mostly because I want her to be able to look at us, you know? But, um... That's alright. Is there anything else I can do... Yeah, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's something, I guess. <laughs> so we'll, we'll save that screenshot, and uh, we'll figure it out from there. Thank you for indulging my photographic curiosities. Let's go on in here and see what we can find. Oh, we got ourselves a battle against one of these maidens. That's going to be an intense battle, I'm sure. Oh, what? Oh, man. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use one of our purifying embers. Learned our lesson from last episode. I thought that was, that was like a split second to actually get that <laughs> fatal frame. I thought we were going to get it. Unfortunately, we obviously did not. So what I'll do in the meantime is try and get more spirit remnants so we can get a nice shutter chance. And now we should be able to get a shutter chance. There we go. Are you dead? I don't think so. Oh my. pretty intense. So it seems that's how our friend uh, met his end. A huge bell hangs in the bell tower. Anything else? Oh, I guess we could explore over this way. Hmm. Just some film, I guess. Ooh, some Type 90 film. That's some good stuff. Can we go in here? The door shut tight and won't open. Alright. Well, then I guess we'll head up this way. Is there anything else to look at? Maybe I'll look at, around on these like side corners over here real quick first. Oh, no, I can't even do that? Okay. All right, then to the main entrance we go. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely a shrine, isn't it? Is there a ghost? Search for Miyu Hinasaki. I will do my best. Alright, so there's clearly some item we can interact with up there, but it doesn't seem like it's a ghost that I'm potentially missing out on. 
It's a large donation box. What are we gonna find over here? A mirror stone. You know, stuff's about to get real when you find a mirror stone. This is beautiful. This is like, really pretty. This is another place that I'll eventually go into snap mode with because look at how pretty this is, right? You can probably get some great photos here. Although there's clearly a lot on screen, the game seems to be stuttering a little bit. A large set of shelves is arrayed with numerous lit lanterns. A mountain pattern is drawn on the lanterns, the red light glowing like sunset. I guess we'll start by going to the left, see what we find. Do we want to go... Oh man, do we want to go downstairs? Let's explore the first floor first. It won't open, it is being held shut by a powerful force. Alright, first floor has been explored. <laughs> we'll head on downstairs. Oh, and it looks like that's where the bit on the right would have led us anyways. There's an item over there, I guess just to satiate my curiosity. Oh, so that's... I'm glad we came over here. Miyu Hinasaki going through a door. Okay, so maybe this is where I need to be going. Can I go through here, though, is the question. I can. Alright, so we'll be back here. <laughs> In the meantime, we're going to head down here and explore this segment a little bit first. There's an item on the right. This looks so labyrinth-like. Oh, it's going to be a pain to fight enemies around here. Naturally, yeah, that item is behind one of these doors. Are we going to get trapped in here? Some herbal medicine. Some herbal medicine we could use. Oh, you know what I should do? I should upgrade my camera. We've got plenty of points, don't we? Yeah, we've got like almost 300,000. Let's see, upgrades the restore lens, increasing health recovered from 0.5 times to 0.75 times damage. Um, I'll, I'll do that because it's only 20,000 and I, you know, 25% seems to be a pretty solid return on investment. There's the loader, we, we can probably increase, ooh, using the camera obscures absorption capabilities, increasing spirit power absorbed. That might be nice too. Damage would be good too, so we'll get a little bit of damage going, we'll get a little bit of absorption going. That'll facilitate our recovery a little bit more. And I think the next one will probably be loader. Maxing out that loading time. Just because that, that kind of fits my play style in general. A large Buddha statue stands behind the fence. I like being able to take quite a few shots um, with cameras. <laughs> It's an altar, but it looks like a huge box. The lid has been made into a door. There's a large keyhole in it. What could be inside? I guess the only way to find out is to get the key and go in. Can we take a psychic photo? No, we can't. Anything over this way doesn't seem so at first. So we'll head behind this door. It won't open. It's being held shut by a powerful force. Okay. We have sufficiently explored the area for now. But yeah, I like having the option to be able to get fatal frames, or if I miss an attack or something like that, being able to quickly take another one is going to be a priority for me. In general, that's like a playstyle I have. Whenever I play fighting games or Smash Bros or any of that stuff, that's kind of how I play. I like characters that are fairly quick and have long strings of combos, um, the ability to attack in rapid succession and quickly as opposed to hard hitting once in a while actually getting that hit off characters oh boy is there water of course there's water so naturally that's where we're gonna have to go can we go through here though we can to my surprise and what are we gonna find left or this way is a dead end. 
Something kind of interesting I, I've noticed in terms of game design when it comes to horror, something this game does really well that I've commented on before is how the characters open doors in such a slow manner that really builds up some degree of anxiety. Something else that compounds with that is that when you walk through the door initially, the camera angle doesn't change to show you, at least not very much, the hallway or whatever it is you're actually entering into. Oh, it doesn't look like there are actually any doors here. So I'm actually, before we progress over here, I want to go back and explore that. But it doesn't show you what you're walking into. So you get anxious in the first, you know, the moment you walk through a door into a new area, you don't know what's on your left, what's on your right, whether there's going to be a ghost, whether you're going to get attacked, etc. And so you immediately kind of feel this anxiety surrounding not knowing what's going to happen. But yeah, it seems that this is the actual path to progress, so I do want to explore to the end of this hallway and take a look at what's down there before we move on. Probably not much, but... I can see leaves at the end of the hallway. It seems to be the courtyard. The hallway looks like it runs around the whole perimeter. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and interestingly enough, that door that we saw, the double doors at the end of my, you know, perusing <laughs> the, uh, the courtyard area, is likely the set of doors that we were about to walk through beforehand. Do I want to go downstairs? Do I want to go in that underwater area right now? Oh, I'm so curious. I'm so curious. Let's do it. Where does the trace lead us? There. Alright, we're going underwater. Wish me luck, guys. Okay, so this is the courtyard on the first floor, it seems. An item. Can't see what it is. Mount Hikami's strictures. Huh, I found some old papers with writing on them. They seem to be about Mount Hikami's strictures. The Shadow Spring, source of the black water. To contain the Shadow Spring to prevent that black water from bursting forth, Mount Hikami must be bolstered with the reliquaries. Maidens cross from the Shrine of the Ephemeral to the Shrine on the Water on the Boat of Path. Wait, the shrine on the water on the boat of passage to become the Great Pillars. This is interesting. The the black water. Didn't we see a flashback or a memory before where there was a guy carrying the reliquary to an area that looked like it was overflowing with black water? I think that that's what is being referred to here. Caskets are used so as to not taint the mountain soil. Reliquaries are used to protect the purity of the water. The waters of Mount Hikami are the source of the soul. The pure water must be protected. The black water must not be allowed to overflow. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Anything under here? Doesn't seem so. Looks like there's a fair number of items down here. Oh, that door is being shut. Or being held shut. Here's a boat that's blocking our passage. Oh, look at that open space. I just want to walk through it. It's not going to let me. All right, so we have to get over to that item from that door over there. And it looks like that door from... Oh, man. Hello there. I guess this is the uh, message for if you dilly-dally too long. You'll end up getting attacked more frequently. All right, you going to attack me soon or what? Almost. There we go. Wait, I didn't get the shutter chance? Darn it. There we go. So we're getting some pretty good damage in here. You know, honestly, the next time I'm, uh, I'm actually going to be careful about this shutter chance. And can we get a fatal frame? Nope. Alright, at least we successfully dodged that. But I was very uh, intentional about not getting... Oh, what? About not getting that shutter chance, just because it would be very difficult to 
get the fatal glance afterwards. This one, though, we should be able to. Interesting. So that thing is the problem that can give me that sort of like curse, I believe. So I definitely want to avoid that. And if only I had Rui here for Rui strats. Okay. Get some big damage up close. Wow, this thing is taking quite a few hits. Okay, you're pretty close. Darn it. Of course, now <laughs> it's gonna attack right after I miss. Did I get the fatal frame? No, I didn't. Again, trying to be a little bit more careful with my shutter chances. This one should be good. There we go. Alright, so we successfully got that one. Let's check this boat. That was something that I wanted to do. The small boat floats in the courtyard. The water extends all the way into the courtyard. I can probably get onto the boat from here. Probably get onto the boat from here. Why are we not getting on the boat? <laughs> so I guess we can head up this way. Because this is not the way we came. It might give us access to some new areas we previously couldn't. The door is locked. There are two locks on it. One with an engraving of a cherry blossom. And on the other one of the moon. And another one on the moon. Okay, so we've got to find a sakura or a cherry blossom lock and a moon lock for that. There's also that, what looks like a fancy reliquary that has a bunch of, um, what's it called? Fancy decorations on it that we still need to find a key for as well. Alright, we got some purifying embers, and now we can access this door too, which we have not explored. Very slow door opening. We have no idea what's on our left or what's on our right. Whatever this is, I guess we'll pick it up. The shadow touched. An old text left beneath the lattice window. I can make out the word shadow touched. Touch not the black water. To immerse in such darkness is to melt and rot away. Only those who wish for death can endure such agony. We shadow touched are all bound for death. We shall carry the reliquaries and submerge them in the black water until we too have rotted away. The black water must not be allowed to overflow. So that's what we saw an image of, a person who was the, the shadow touched, right? The door is locked. A camellia or camellia flower is engraved on the lock. Okay, so a lot of locks. Cherry blossom, camellia, moon. Gonna have to try and keep all that straight in my head. Maybe not all of it is even meant to be unlocked in this particular drop. Okay. At the very least, though, we've explored that area. I'm glad we did so. So we can continue on. gonna go to the left I believe because I think Miu where does she go looks like she goes to the left too actually this door looks less important the door is locked a lily flower is engraved on the lock another lock all right looks like this is all we can really go to also I don't know if anybody's mentioned it or if it even really matters much but the R2 buttons and the circle button are usually um, functionally equivalent you can hit R2 to pick things up, you can hit R2 to open doors, you can hit R2 to do the trace thing. It's actually kind of nice, that sort of redundancy. Huh, a maiden. Shrine maiden in a room. It's a pretty neat looking room, too. What is that room? I mean, it's clearly some sort of shrine, and we're working our way there. We just came through that door. 
Yes, because that's where we looked before. So we're working our way over this way. Anything over here? I see what looks like a bridge at the bottom of the stairs. Maybe there's some way around. This should be above the boat area too. Can we, is this a door we can open? No. All right. Anything over here? I don't think we were able to explore that area. So I guess we're making our way around. Go to the right, or I can go to the left. Oh, a ghost! Thought it was gonna be an item. Shrine maiden in a room. Uh oh. So. Okay, so they go that way, so I guess we'll, we'll continue to explore this area. I did not like how quiet the music got. Whenever the music gets really quiet, you know something's about to go down. What are we gonna find here? That looks like just some film. Oh no, that's just on the other side. Writings on glancing. There's an old text atop the writing desk. I can make out the word glance. A Shrine Maiden's glance allows her to see the hearts of those returning to the water. This is referring to Fatal Glance, right? The Maidens take their pain, their sins, and all their secrets to ease their passing. Maidens whose hearts are full are made into pillars. Is the plot twist at the end that they're going to try to make Yuri into a pillar after doing all these Fatal Glances, all these Shadow Touches, all these Shadow Readings? Maybe that's... Interesting. Maybe the whole ability of shadow reading and such is related to the black water, and Yuri's history is actually more connected to Mount Hikami than we all know. That would be interesting. Those secrets taken on by the Shrine Maidens are sealed in the reliquaries with them, that they might never find their way back outside. Wow, that would be pretty, pretty crazy. Some are you an enemy? Oh yeah, you're an enemy. Huh, allow your own heart to melt away, only then can you truly glance into the souls of others. She is swinging. Did I get the Fatal Frame? I did. Nice. And I got a trophy too, I guess. Fatal Frame Friend. I definitely feel like that at the moment. Nice Shutter Chance too. It's probably just for getting a certain number of Fatal Frames. Okay, when are you going to start swinging again? Here it comes. Come on. You're just like stumbling. Alright, so I'll just take a photo. And that should give me the ability to get a shutter chance, which is nice. I get a nice, good one. And... What? Oh, you had to stumble then? Oh, what? That was just a normal photograph? Uh-oh. <laughs> great, great, great. What the heck? Am I stuck behind the writing desk? I am. So again, I'm going to want to be careful about the shutter chances, I guess. I'll let her approach me a little bit longer. Eh, I'll get close and do the shutter chance. That was a pretty strong one. Pretty good damage. Okay, can I get that shutter chance now? Come on. Yeah, that works. It wasn't a great one, but it was functional. Where'd you go? Fatal frame, nice. Oh, it looks like we got the kill. Let's glance. Can I glance? There we go. <laughs> Here I am, just like standing on the dying ghost. Can I, uh,. Can I take a look at those memories of yours? I promise I'll, you know, seal them off to, for all of eternity when I, you know, walk off in a reliquary. It's still so quiet. I don't like it, guys. So this completes our trip around the perimeter. This should take us back to the entrance. I believe this door was locked before? The door is now unlocked. Okay. 
That's important. And now we can continue onwards elsewhere. I wonder why it gets so quiet in this room. It had to have been intentional, right? It's not like they just forgot music here. But this room is like so eerily serene. You know? Alright, well, which way do we want to go? Oh, looks like Miyu goes down there. So naturally, we'll try to open this. Oh, and it's not locked. With a very, with one of the various <laughs> flower-related keys around here. Turn the corner, ghost. Nope. This door looks pretty menacing. I'm surprised we can open it. What the heck? This is one heck of a shrine. Looks like Type 14 film. No, Type 0 film. That's the second one we found this chapter. Dang, that's the good stuff. The Immortal Flower. There's an old text on the floor by the altar. It appears to be about the Immortal Flower. Those who are to be pillars are placed into reliquaries filled with black water. The maiden lays within the black water. This is not death, but an eternal sleep. She shall not age, but stay as she was. An immortal flower. Sleeping in the black water brings dreams of death, endlessly repeating. When the maiden can stand no more, her body dissolves, and her role as a pillar is ended. Only the strongest maidens become an immortal flower. Via this eternal suffering, we become eternal. Such is our role in appeasing the Shadow Spring. Well, that's dark. No items over this way. This would be another great place for that snap mode. Are we going to find a key up here? Or? There's a space in the middle of the altar, as if something should be placed there. Okay. <laughs> but naturally, we don't know what should be placed there. And of course, here's another really fancy reliquary. Look at all these lanterns. Again, such a theme of this game is eerie beauty, right? This game is beautiful and so creepy at the same time. I love it. Alright, so now we'll follow the intended path that Miu has traced out for us. going down into the water. Although I think this is actually just going to take us to the courtyard again. So there's a door on my left. What about on my right? Which way does Miu go? Miu goes that way. So naturally, we'll try this way. <laughs> ah, so this is the double doors into the, the courtyard. Nice. And there should be an item over here. Let's see what we can find. Oh, it's just some herbal medicine. But hey, could be the difference between life and death. Oh! So we're getting attacked from behind. Nice. So some big damage there. I think. Oh, where did you go? Behind me? You're down there. It's a very awkward angle. <laughs> like a very awkward angle. There we go. So we get nice and close. Get some big damage. I love the sound effects. We can get really close again. Get some really big damage. And this should give us enough for a shutter chance. Wait, what? What did I get attacked by? Hmm. I don't like having to use all these purifying embers because I know they are pretty helpful in terms of points at the end. But, oh well, I guess. Come on. There we go. Decently strong shutter chance. But you're not dead yet, are you? No, okay. And my spirit power is still pretty weak, unfortunately. Let me try using that 
Oh my. What is going on with that dance? Did I get the fatal frame? No, I didn't. Darn it. That's a new attack, though. Fatal frame. Nice. And we reload. So I tried doing the... Oh, I think I get it. Dang, there is very little time to allow me to actually counter that, which is kind of sucky. Also, I tried using my healing thing, and it just it did not heal much at all, unfortunately. But I also think I'm getting a better understanding of how it works. Because... Got it, got it, got it. So we've always been at full spirit power. Not always, per se. Oh, shoot. Come on. Fatal frame, nice. We actually avoided that attack that time. So, a couple things. Are you dead? Okay, good. So my spirit power gauge was full before. And the marker on it is showing how much I'll actually use with the lens I have equipped, is my impression. And then when I take photos of those little spirit remnants, that's how I can replenish my spirit power. It's all come together. So I gotta use that more frequently, is my takeaway. Okay. What are we gonna notice on our left here? What was that sound? What is swimming in these waters with us? A casket has been laid out on the floor. The casket is full of water, and I can see something shaped like a person submerged within. Uh-oh. I don't like that. The casket has been laid out on the floor. Something shaped like a person lies inside the casket. More scripts. Aw, oh, man. At the very least, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but I was caught off guard. Found some old papers with writing on them. Tainted waters. Huh. The black water must not be allowed to overflow. The black water is the netherworld itself. Should the pure water ever be tainted by the black water, a calamity sh shall surely occur. The world of the living shall become the netherworld. The souls of man shall rot, and those who would return to water shall become the dead. The black water must not be allowed to overflow. Dang, that's, that's spooky stuff. It won't open. It's being held shut by a powerful force. Wait. So then where do we go now? Over that way, I guess. Also, I am a little bit nervous about our HP, so I am going to use an herbal medicine. And try to just be more cognizant of using my healing shot, I guess. My healing lens. A little bit more going forward. I can't see the trace. Did the trace go where we were, ju where we just were? No, they're, they're over here. And let's see what's going on over this way. Oh, I recognize this hallway! I recognize this hallway! <laughs> I recognize it so very well. Which way did we come from, though? Miyu Hinasaki drawing back. Oh yeah, she's totally that way. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna run over this way first and see what we find. But I recognize this area very much. Huh. Whoa. This place is so again eerily beautiful. What the heck, Fatal Frame? Large ceremonial flowers line the rear garden. So this isn't where we're supposed to go, I'm almost sure of it. But I'm curious to explore this area. 
Oh, here's that bridge that was referred to earlier. What are we going to find on the other side? It won't open. It's being held shut by a powerful force. I should have known. Okay, well, at least we're, you know, building some degree of familiarity with the shrine, because I doubt this is the last time we're going to explore the area. And then I believe there was a door on my right as well. I think this is maybe the door where Mew originally woke up during the prologue. Certainly, it won't open, it's being held shut by a powerful force, okay. Wow, what a, like, dark and eerie and menacing, creepy hallway. But it's so cool. Again, the aesthetic of this game is just outstanding. And I like that the game encourages exploration, but not really pushing the, the player to go crazy with it, right? There's still some degree of linearity. You can always be told more or less where you need to go to progress the story, and you don't get sent on too many wild goose chases with because the game locks plenty of the doors that are like you don't really need to be exploring this don't worry about it for now so that's the door where Mew is this is where Mew came from we just weren't able to explore that other hallway because of the ghosts getting in the way the shrine maidens and this is that water area Oh man, what's gonna happen? We're we gonna get a big battle here? Totally. Can we go through here? Are we gonna find anything? There we go. So there's one on my right as well, or? Yes, there are two of them. So the first thing I'll do is hold X to dodge. Um, oh, my mobility is limited too. Gosh. Wow, that was <laughs> that's quite the photo. <laughs> so they're in the water plenty of times. Where are they? Looks like both of them are over this way? No, nope, okay. At least they're both within my sight at the moment, which is better than before. So this one is definitely approaching me. Can we get a fatal frame on this one? Oh, I'm at... There we go, shutter chance. I was hoping to overlap them. Now they're probably going to reposition and everything. Where is the second one? You get another shutter chance. Nice. Alright. Oh, but now they're both... Okay. So, the other one is on my right as well, I believe. Let's hope they start to... Ah, shoot. Run, 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 at least it, it seems like I'm getting more comfortable with the dodge mechanic, which is much needed, honestly. It's not doing so well with it. Where is this other one? Oh, it was like right by... Oh, I see. So it's like a two-part attack. They kind of... Ah, oh, shoot. They go underwater, and then they pop up and attack you. Alright, so we'll get some damage on this one in the meantime, rather than necessarily waiting for all the shutter chances. I wonder if this is a necessary fight, you know? I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was just like a really cool bonus fight. Aw oh, man, this one's gonna attack me. Fatal frame, nice. Although it was not a very long fatal frame. We got quite a bit out of it, to be honest. Now if I get closer, will they not teleport away? Seems like that's the case. Holy cow, we got a ton of points for that shutter chance. Okay, so this one's dead. Can we get over there in time? Please let me get this fatal glance. Come on. Oh, we missed the fatal glance. Ah, I'm sure that was a good one. Ah, I made myself now. Come on. I really wanted to see that. Interesting. I don't think we had the opportunity to come over this way. Oh wait, no, this is where we exited. <laughs> or that's where we initially came into the room. We wanted to go to the other side. Oh man, please let me know in the comments if there was a really good fatal glance I missed there. I'm going to be kicking myself for the rest of the day <laughs> that I let that happen.
It was such a tempting, such a strong shutter chance, too. I thought we might make it in time. But not quite. Huh. What are we going to find over this way? So, interestingly enough, we're essentially reliving Mew's progress prior to the prologue. Oh! I see. It's this door. So, Mew walked in the shrine the same way we did, but ended up walking through that door this way, and that's when she got attacked. And that's when we wake up as her... Or she was brought to that room some way, but either way, I feel like we've now explored everything we can and can progress with actually finding Miu. Ah oh man, those, those fatal glance cutscenes could be so cool too. Ah! Oh well, it was a pretty good battle nonetheless. Ah, oh, but I didn't use my recovery shot! <laughs> Darn it. Gotta remind myself to do that. That way I can avoid using the herbal medicines and save up points. It's pretty cool that, you know, your points affect your score, obviously, and that appeals to certain people, but those points you save by not having to heal, etc., are also directly or direct investments in your camera's abilities. So the better you play, you can kind of snowball to an extent. Oh man, and this is the reliquary where Miu was. Real quick scan of the room to see if there are any items hidden. Doesn't look like it. Then we'll slowly, timidly, approach this reliquary. Flashlight freaked out a little bit. That's okay. Here we go. An ornate black box. It looks slightly different from the one Haruka was trapped in. It's shut. Could Miyu be inside? The camera is reacting to something. Oh, we're totally gonna have to find, like, the lock for it. Oh, wait, that was a waste. I need to get the right angle. Psychic photograph. Where is that? I'm trying to remember which shrine that is. Isn't that the one we're at right now? There's something in the picture. What is it? There's light pouring down from the ceiling. Oh, I see. There seems to be another floor above this one. The shaft in the ceiling leads up there. Look for a way to open the canopy. So we let the light in, and that should open up this reliquary, and then we hopefully find Miu. I see, I see. So let's go ahead and do that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was definitely fun looking through this shrine. Again, this game is incredibly beautiful with all of its scenery. Not just in its, you know, natural, unfathomable forest type scenes, but also in its, I guess, more like Japanese culture focused ones, like the, the shrine, the shrine scenes, and with all the water. It's really been a treat going through this game. We had some cool battles. I'm enjoying the drop, this drop, this episode <laughs> quite a bit. So I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing what the rest of it entails. I'm excited to see Miu, and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully she's alive. I'm pretty sure she's alive, but hopefully we can find her and then maybe gain some clues as to where Haruka went. Maybe where Hisoka is, right? We haven't talked about her in a while. So, anyways, until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete.